hackers welcome to the seventh video on the series chat application using monstack in this video what we'll do is we'll start where we left off and we'll lift the socket variable up to the app app component instead of the chat room page component and <coughs> we will create the layout for the chat room uh, so let's get started without any further ado so let's go to the backend start the server using npm start and keep this terminal away for a while so now that we have let's open the front end in visual studio code okay cmd code dot so that will open the front end in the visual studio code we'll lift this socket variable to the app component instead of the chat room page so to do that let's do this so let's create a socket state variable socket and set socket from react to use state so the initial value for the socket variable will be null so we'll create a function that will no we can't create like that so we'll create a function that will set up the socket and that's it so we'll create setup socket so what we'll do is we'll get the token first require uh, not require local storage dot get item cc underscore token that's what i think it is so if token dot length is greater than zero and socket is not defined what we want to do is uh go to uh create this take this piece of code and bring it over here so that's it so bring this import statement as well so that's how we'll do it okay so this this socket and this socket are conflicting names so let's make this new socket <coughs> so what we'll do is new socket dot on disconnect so on disconnect what we want to do is uh, set socket back to null and we'll set uh, we'll, what we'll do is set socket back to null and we'll set interval set not set interval set timeout uh, set up socket after let's say three seconds so that's it so let's do this one as well so on connection so what do you want to do on connections uh, so so what do you want to do in connection is okay let's make toast over here so this will be an error and socket disconnected so this make toast is same as the toast we create in login registration so this will be success and socket connected okay so that's it so after this we'll set the socket to new socket so we need to call this function <coughs> whenever the app component loads so set uh, react dot use effect uh, use effect okay what's wrong so, so we'll get this okay so on this react use effect we need to pass dependencies so that will be an empty area for component did mount so we'll do this yes lint disable next line to suppress the error let's start this front end server so we need to call setup socket so that will set up the socket i think so let's see if we get the toast of socket connected so not yet no one is connected so so we get socket connected but nothing is connected 
so I don't get any toasts so that we get the socket disconnected but we one is connect maybe is it connect yep it's connect so it, that's how you set the socket so it's connected so now that we have we need to pass this socket hence we need to pass this so to pass that we'll can't use props when we use this component method so we'll do render so render equal to another function and this will return a login page so now we'll pass the setup socket to the login page so this setup setup socket so that's how we pass it but since we are using this render we will not get we'll get an issue that's you will be using props dot history so this will not be available anymore so to bring that back we need to wrap this one with with router with router and that will bring us that will bring the history prop to the login page so similarly let's wrap uh, what else page do we need so we need dashboard page so let's wrap it in um, no not the dashboard page because it's using link it does not re require the history but the chat room page requires maths so this math is also coming from the react router so we need to do with router so now that we have let's change this components to render so this will just do this and we'll pass the socket in of the socket and we'll pass the socket again render render what do we want to render we want to render the chat room page <coughs> so when we render the chat room we will pass the socket equal to socket that's it so each of these will receive the socket props and this will receive the set socket so we'll go to the login and after the login is successful so this is where the login is successful so we'll get props dot set up set socket and not set socket just a minute not set it's set up socket so set up socket so after the we login we'll need to set up the socket so that's it so we'll have this and we can get the props over here and we can access props dot socket so that's how we pass the socket so since we are using restructuring we'll get the socket like this over here now let's start building this chat room page so now that socket is set up we can start building this chat room page so let's add a class name of chat room page so yeah but we'll need stylings for this and so i'll create a new file chatroom.css i have the styles over here i'll link it in my blog so do check my blog for the written version of this tutorial so i'll post all my written version of the tutorial on my blog do check that out and subscribe for more content like this so now that we have chatroom css let's import it in index.js so just like this we'll import the chatroom.css so that now we have the chat room page now inside the chat room page what we'll do is we'll create a div with chat room section so inside that we'll have the card header so here we'll keep the chat room name so after the chat header card header we'll have chat room content so inside the chat room content we'll put messages so the sample message will be this message and 
other message so whenever any other user will say suppose get is sending a message it will be like this and the message will be hello guys so yeah so if you want to send the message whatever message we send will be on message and that's how it goes so this will be on kit I kit so that's how this one so after the chatroom content will create a div called chatroom actions so the chatroom actions will have two divs so first div will contain an input input not that so I need input type text name equal to message and placeholder equal to say some something so that will be the placeholder we'll create another div and inside the div what we'll do is we'll create a button and class of join this join is already defined so I'll be using that same class so this will contain a text called send and I think that's it for the chat room page so let's see whoa so does it look nice guys leave your thoughts in the comment and I'll see you in the next video do subscribe for more content like this and bye bye